Okay, so this is the second problem we are going to solve today. Um, we have got the question and you can see the, the schematic here. Uh, this is a fish tank and it is actually 80 centimeter high. So the height is given 80 centimeter and we know that the dimension is given it is 2 by 0 0.6 meter. So the tank, uh, this fish tank initially it is filled like this okay so this is partially filled and this is the water here so um, you can you can read this question here this is partially filled with water to be transported on the back of the truck right so the truck um, initially it was at rest so when it was at rest the velocity definitely this is zero and it accelerates you know 0 to 90 km per hour in 10 seconds so we all know the acceleration is the change of the velocity with respect to the time so this is the velocity initially when the time it was t equal 0 then it was 0 km per hour and in 10 seconds it raises 90 km per hour so there's some sort of changes and this is actually the acceleration so we'll calculate it if it is desired that no water will spill during the accelerations, determine the allowable initial water height in the tank. So what will be the you know the the initial water height? So we'll calculate the initial water height and we do recommend the tank to be aligned with the long or the short side parallel to the reaction of the motions. Yeah, so that's really important when we're talking about uh, the fish tanks or when you will transport it for the rigid body motions so um, you know we, we need to think about the orientation of the tank because this is important to control the the vertical rise of the water and to you know control the spilling of the water so here we'll just um, solve this question so the question is this tank it is to be transported we need to calculate the allowable height to avoid the spilling and to, you know the proper orientation like whether it will be aligned to the long side or the short side parallel to the direction of the motion so initially we'll write it down that okay um, we'll, we'll use some assumptions here so I'm not just going to write it assumption is we'll see it is actually moving along the x-axis so we're going to consider the accelerations along the x-axis and we'll see along the z-axis no accelerations so and the acceleration along the z-axis it will be zero so we're considering the acceleration along x-axis and along z-axis it is zero okay and the other effects when um, like the the braking shifting gears um, the climbing hills this sort of thing we're going to neglect it we'll see this is not consider it is negligible the effect of uh, braking shifting gears driving over bumps or the um, climbing hills that's negligible for these cases so when we will start with the analysis what will be the accelerations so we know the acceleration x it will be the change of the velocity and change of time so we can say delta v over delta t delta v is the v is the velocity so change of velocity the final velocity is 90 initial velocity 0 this is kilometer per hour and the time um, it is actually 10 minus 0 second so it is kilometer per hour and it is second we all know the the unit for the acceleration it is meter per second square so just convert it um, into meter per second square if we write it down okay one meter per second oops one meter per second it is actually you can say it is 3.6 kilometer per hour we know um, one hour equals 3600 seconds so we just write it this way that one kilometer um, you know one meter per second it is equal 3.6 kilometer per hour so then we can cancel out this kilometer per hour kilometer per hour so it will be meter per second and second meter per second square so it will give us the value 2.5 meter per second square this is the accelerations so once you know this acceleration it makes the angle theta here so initially when 
um, it was addressed it was the free surface yeah it was the free surface now um, we'll see the maximum rise and um, the back side of this truck so it will be the rise and the you know the water which will just will experience them down this section and again this height and this height it will be same now we have got the free surface is this so this is the free surface what we can do we can calculate the angle okay the tangent of the angle from the free surface so this theta we know from the formula if you actually want to calculate this tangent of the angle we know we solved it for previous problem it is x over g plus a z here actually a z this is zero so it will be like a x over g so a x is 2.5 and g is 9.81 so tan theta it will be you know 0 0.255 or you know theta it is equal to tan inverse 0 0.255 so we'll get the value theta it is equal 14.3 degree so that means it will make an angle like this so the 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 maximum we can see the maximum vertical rise will get uh, in the back of this tank okay and will get an equal amount of drop here so and we'll see no changes at the center because of the symmetry so that's um, you know the maximum allowable rise and if we get more than that if the angle is theta is more than 14.3 then what will happen water will spill out so that's the first part of this problem now we need to determine um, the vertical rise at the back of the tank relative to the mid plane for two possible orientations. So it could be, it is actually the schematic. And you see in the question it is given um, uh, 80 centimeter high fish tank and the cross section is 2 meter by 6 meter. So this is the long side, this is the short side. Okay. So which side um, we'll consider? That means we'll think about that. Um, two cases the first case is the case one let's say the short side is parallel to the direction of the motion now first case okay let's say the short side the short side of the tank it is parallel parallel to the direction of the motion direction of the motion so um, what I can tell you here is it makes angle theta. So I can just draw it like this. This is the angle theta. It makes the angle theta exactly at the center. So this total length is B. So can I say it is B over 2? This is B over 2. So let's say this is B over 2. And this is... Um, we need to calculate this so what it, it will be it will be you know um, b by 2 tan theta this is b by 2 tan theta we know this vertical uh, tan theta equal uh, you know so if it makes the angle theta here so we can write it as b by 2 tan theta okay so for the short side we can just write it down we say this distance is delta Z S, so let's say this is delta Z S one for the short side. You can define whatever you want. So we said this is B by two tan theta. B is actually the dimensions for the short side. So this is the dimension we have. So two definitely this is for the long side. Zero point six is the short side of this. Um, fish tank so when we're talking about the short side so b is 0 0.6 meter over 2 and 10 theta is 14.3 degree so we'll get this distance is 7.6 centimeter similarly when we'll calculate the the long side that means delta z s 2 in the book it says delta z s 1 long side but I define different ways it doesn't matter so then it is again b by 2 tan theta 
you know, B for the long side, it is 2 meter. So, put it 2 meter over 2, 10, 14.3. So, it will give us 25.5 centimeter, the distance. So, what you can see from here is, for the long side, um, the rise, it will be like kind of higher. For the short side, the rise, it will be lower. So, if we consider the short side, to the direction of the motion, the vertical rise it will be, you know, smaller than if it is if we use the longer side. So that means if it is, it is wise to think about the orientation of the tank. So what we can say from here, this is for the short side and this is for the long side, and it is actually the vertical rise. Okay, so we can say that the tank should be oriented its short side is parallel to the direction of the motion which is 7.6 centimeter okay and in that case the free surface level drop just 7.6 centimeter okay and you know we can easily avoid the spilling during the accelerations so if we use the short side is parallel to the direction of the motion then yeah that's better for this system so that's it and we'll discuss it during